having been on the radio and having interns um, and watching their growth as interns, yeah, when they first get there, we, we torture them. <laughs> they they have to, you know, they have to they, they have to go through some of the hazing routines. I remember Funkmaster Flex when I was in the same area as Hot 97. He actually had them. Our studios were set up so that uh, I was in a group with Hot 97 and Kiss FM and QCD when I was on the radio. And there was a large hallway. Um, and each one of the studio's windows opened onto the hallway. He actually had the interns running around. And the ones that finally ended up not dropping out were the ones that got an internship with Funkmaster Flex, which is highly desirable. So after they did the hazing, they learned more with him. And I never made them run around the hallways, but my interns, um, I think they learned so much um, on the job. There's nothing like being in the room with somebody who does it for a living and has done it for a long time to show you how to take all these tools, all these tools that they've got at Hofstra, and they've got them all, how to put them together and use them in a real job situation. So I find inter internships, yeah, there's, there's a funny part to them, but it's real serious work, and I think a lot of students get jobs out of internships.